I'm going to show you how I made this puzzle with my phone and how I'm going to sell it on Amazon. So the first step is to write out the list of words I'm going to use. Since this book is for boys, I'm going to be using words from sports, entertainment, technology, science, all those things that boys are generally interested in. If you want to make your own puzzle book and you choose to do a hundred puzzles with 20 words per puzzle, that means you are going to multiply 120 which will give you 2000 words. This book will have 85 puzzles in total and 15 words per puzzle. To generate these words, I'm going to go to Google and and type list of 100 different types of sports copy and paste them in my note app then went back to google and typed list of 100 different types of tech skills copy and pasted them in my notes i kept doing that until i got the total number of words that i wanted when you are generating your own words make sure you are careful not to repeat one word more than once the next step was to generate the puzzles and to do that i needed this app puzzle police i will leave a link to this app in the description or you can go to play store and install it yourself so i went to my notes and copied the exact amount of words i wanted to use per puzzle which was 15 words go back to the puzzle app and click on the green word search icon here and paste the words. The free version of this app allows you to use 10 words to create a puzzle. If you want to use more than 10 words to create your own puzzle, it means you'd have to upgrade which costs about $3.53. If you're in Nigeria, that means 1,430 naira, which is a one-time payment. And I think it's worth the investment. But if you don't have any money, you can start by just using the free 10 words per puzzle to create your own book. So let's continue. Then click create puzzle. First thing displayed is the puzzle solution. If I want to change the orientation of words placed in a certain way, I can just click the settings icon. You can see all the options available. For me, I like to have variety in my puzzles. So I'm going to leave all the options activated. If you want to rearrange how they are placed, just click the recycle icon here and it will automatically rearrange itself. The next thing I did is to screenshot this page. If you don't know how to screenshot, just press the lower volume button and the power button at the same time or slide down and look for the screenshot icon. Icon. After the screenshot, I would crop and save into my phone. If your phone can't crop after a screenshot, don't worry about it. Then click the print icon here, write the title of the puzzle. I like to write the titles in numbers, that way it's easier for me to remember just in case I make a mistake. Then click the print icon, screenshot, crop and save. Then I went back to the list of my words, picked the next 15 words and repeated the process until I had my 85 puzzles and solutions. The next step is to create my interior. My interior is going to be divided into three parts. The first part, the instruction. Second part, the puzzle itself. And the last part, the puzzle solutions. I'm going to go to canva.com, click the plus sign, then customize size, change from pixels to inches. The width I will write 8.625 and the height I will write 11.625. I will now use the exact 8.5 times 11 inch because when I'm uploading this book, I'm going to click the bleed option and the decorative background I'm going to use will extend to the edge of the page which they are going to cut when printing. So let's continue. Click create new design. On the first page, as I said, I'll write the instruction on how to use this book. So I'll just click text here, choose a font, write instructions, then choose another font, reduce size, then write the words may be found across, down, diagonal, backwards, and can overlap with each other. The hidden words are listed beneath the word search. You can cycle the words as you find them and cross them out out of the list. The next step now is to place the puzzles. What I will do is to upload my screenshots. So I will click the plus icon here, then click uploads, then click upload files, then go to images, then screenshots, select and wait for it to upload. Then click and enlarge. I'm going to crop the words out so that I can enlarge properly. Make sure it does not get close to the edge so that when they are printing, they won't cut off the words. Then I can just duplicate and get the words out. You might want to type them out manually so that the words does not look like it is photocopied when printed. The next thing I want to do is to edit this a little. Click on the puzzle itself. Click on the adjust icon. Set brightness to minus 30 and 
contrast to 100 that way it doesn't look like a photocopy then i would write puzzle one up by clicking the text icon here then for the decorative background i went to pixabay.com then clicked images here change to illustrations search for mandela patterns then selected about 5 to 10 different types of patterns and downloaded. After that, I went back to Canva and uploaded. Click upload, upload files, download and select. Place them on the background, enlarge, click position and click to the back. Then added a square around it. Go to elements, square and enlarge. Make sure it fits properly. Increase the brightness for contrast sake. And for the text here, I'll just pick a square and place behind so as to separate it from the Mandela patterns. The next thing I want to do is to place the puzzle solutions at the end of the page. So since I have 85 puzzles, I would start my puzzle solutions where the last puzzle should end. So I will write puzzle solutions, then paste the solution for puzzle 1, then reduce the size so that it can fit in up to 6 solutions in one page. The puzzle solution doesn't have to be large like the main puzzle itself. As you can see the color is green so I will turn it to black. I'll just click the filter icon here then click street then increase the intensity to 83. Okay, I go back, pick the second puzzle and paste. Do the same thing I did for the first one. Edit it, write the words, then go and paste the solutions. Keep repeating the same process on until I'm done with all my puzzles. We are going with the decorative background. Make sure you download between 5 to 10 different mandala designs so that you can keep alternating them. The goal is to make sure they don't look repetitive. Now I'm done with the entire book. The next thing is to download as a PDF file. Click this icon here. Then change from PNG to PDF print. Then click download and my interior is ready. The next step is to create my cover. People buy a new book basically for how the cover looks like. Cover design is very important. If you don't know how to get the dimension of your cover, just go to Amazon Cover Calculator, follow the instructions, select the dimensions for your interior, write out the total number of pages, then it will automatically give you the dimensions of your cover. So let's continue. I'll go to canva.com, click the plus sign, click customize size, change from pixels to inches, with 17.5 465 height 11.25 then click create new design the first thing is to have my background so i went to pixabay typed for mandala under images here looked for a beautiful design i liked this butterfly so i downloaded it then went to canva to upload it always remember that this side is the front cover and this side is the back cover you can see the virtual line that differentiates it so i will try to manipulate this image to become my background making the cover took a lot of time so i'm going to just speed up the process but i will tell you the basic things i did i added some elements majorly squared shape picked a particular color which was yellow and then i wrote my title and subtitle then i took a screenshot of my interior from canva uploaded it back into canva to give an example of how my interior looks like I went for the back cover i just used a plain blue black background i went back to pixabay and downloaded three different elements which you can see at the front cover so i'm done with my cover the next thing is to upload it click this icon here download change from png to pdf print click download and my cover is ready so if you have not already subscribed hit the subscribe button the next step here is to upload this book how you upload your book especially what you write in your book details is very important to your success in kdp i made a video on how i write my titles and my subtitles so that it will bring sales for me if you are interested i will leave a link in the description it's one thing to know how to make a book it's another to know the book that sells. In this video, I discovered the five most profitable niches on the word search puzzle book. I shared how you can differentiate your book, the best prices to set, even how you can design your covers and the colors to pick. 